Hi all over the world, welcome back to Work Climbs. It's 5 a.m. I am in Philly for work. I am going to make a quick trip to Tufa's bouldering lounge happen. So let's get going because we gotta be quick. Let's freaking go. I'm like legitimately so interested to see what this room looks like because I've seen so much of it on social media. Is it gonna match what I have in my head? Whoa, what is this? It's like a trap door. I was pretty excited to be at Tufa's because a few of my friends climb here regularly. The first problem I tried was a slabby purple that started on an arete. The holds on this problem were all dual techs, so you had to be very specific about how you placed your feet or positioned your hands in order to stay on the wall. The holds were all slopey even on the textured parts. I gave the holds a good brush before trying the problem again. The part I was getting stuck on was when I needed to move my left foot up while putting as much pressure as I could into my left hand on the volume to help stabilize myself. Even when I managed to move my left foot up and match feet, the final move to the finish hold felt sketchy, so I decided to use the down climb jugs to test how good the finishing hold really was. After feeling the finishing hold, which turned out to be a jug, it gave me a lot more confidence to go for it. Before we move on to the next problem, I need your opinion on the pole that was hanging out at the front desk of Tufas. Buff clowns or bananas? Let me know the answer to this very important question in the comments. Thank you very much. The next problem was a crimpy pink problem towards the center of the wall when you first come in the door. This pink problem on the overhang had really fun movement. The angle of the wall combined with the diagonal movement up towards the left provided just enough of a challenge to make the problem feel fun. I climbed this problem three times in a row just because I liked it a lot. Fun fact, when I was little, I once saved a prayer plant from dying, and now every time I see a prayer plant, I automatically love it. 
The next problem was another pink that went across this Pac-Man-like set of volumes. These volumes were pretty cool because you could double knee bar and chill without any hands. I thought the top of this problem would be really chill as well, but it turned out that you had to be a bit dynamic to go from the big undercling on the left and the crimps on the right up to the finishing hold. I liked the finish on this because it was a good lesson in actually committing to a hold. The sun was rising and the golden light of morning spilled through the windows and across the gym. It was time to move around the corner to the overhung walls, ranging in overhangs from 50 to 70 degrees, so pretty steep. I tried this red problem that started on a volume and worked its way up and towards the left. I had to try several times before I pieced it all together, but I think this was my favorite problem in the gym that I tried, and I especially love the toe hook towards the middle of it. Last but not least was a purple problem in an area called the barrel. The holds on this were all jugs, and I kept expecting them to not be, so I was pleasantly surprised. Tufa's is a pretty sick gym, and I'm glad that I squeezed it into my morning. It gave me really chill vibes, and I'm not gonna lie, I love that they called it a bouldering lounge, because it just gives it a very relaxed feel. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be much appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, stay hyped.